Right, since this daily vlog thing has become such of a, an entertaining thing for everyone, Freddie wants to tell you a story. Yeah, it's how I since, cut my head. Since, do you remember, do you remember Freddie's the one that was on the table? You know, that Freddie? Yeah, <laughs> him. He wants to tell you the story as to what happened to his no, head. No, I think Jess can tell you the story because I don't remember it. Oh, or Jess, Jess wants to tell, no, Jess doesn't want to tell you. No, she doesn't, no, she doesn't. Yeah. Jess, what do I do? Oh wait, you can't even remember, can you? No, I, apparently I coughed um, and hit my head on a door. That is true. Jamie, except I don't really want to do it. This is what? This is, oh, this okay, is do you have a tip? Okay, all right. Freddy, open there you go. door. Freddy's trying yeah. to open, open door. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was the experience. Yo, Yo And this, the daily vlog's become quite entertaining for everyone. Did, they, did you hit your head then? My first vlog, as inspired by Jamie. This isn't going on YouTube, but there's Jess. I thought I thought I'd get in on it because it's just so crazy. There's cat. Oh. Cat, speak. We want to hear what you sound like on camera. Right, well, yeah. I sound like this on camera. Not yeah. like you. Absolutely you sound really stunning. Welsh on camera, you know. It's beautiful. I sound you sound really, really Welsh. Here we are. Really? You sound a lot more Welsh than normal. Because really I am Welsh. from Wales. Do I sound like I'm from Wales? Yeah, I think we put a deliberate Welsh accent on there. I'm going to be honest. So, yeah, now I'm walking around. I'm Jamie. I'm keeping co focus on my face. I think should take a um, <laughs> you realise when this is? Yes! Hattie, yeah. Hattie, you're on my first vlog. Hattie, she likes forks. You collect them. Hattie collects forks. What type of tartan is this then, Hattie? <laughs> <laughs> this one. I can do Jack Wills. Jack Wills Jack Wills tartan. Jack Wills tartan. <laughs> yes, right. We're going back to Jamie's room. We're so poorly. Um, yeah. Jess, um, Hattie's got a really good idea for tonight. Eating, uh, I'm eating. Oh. <laughs> you have to get a 3.1. Don't you, Jeremy? No, it's not. Don't you, Jeremy? No, it's not. It is. Good evening, Sarah, and welcome to another day of the video, Diane. I'm not entirely sure whether I showed you the two clips that came before this one. Did I make that executive decision in post? Maybe. If I did, and slash or slash didn't, uh, then Freddy wanted to film something for the vlog and then didn't want it to go online. And either I punished him been so foolish as to the fact that thinking it would it wouldn't go online or I've been extortionately kind and next time it won't happen Mr. Fred sir. I'm not entirely sure what my which way my deciding hand's gonna fall as of yet I'll decide when I edit this video together. Okay so what's happened today? Oh recap I feel relatively fine. There's a couple of things I, I haven't been sick for at all since yesterday. Um, I woke up this morning and I felt a bit like oh like if I leant too far I'd fall over in a bit and a bit like like if you touch me it would hurt sore kind of feeling um so that was that was a slight issue and i still feel as if there's like a certain number of foods i can't stomach like tea i don't think i could drink tea without just straight back up again that was that was really attractive jamie but apart from that i feel relatively okay um i rang up work and told them that i couldn't come in today um for the simple reason that i've had a stomach bug and you're not supposed to handle food when you've got stomach bug uh, it's not very good for health and safety, so I rang them up and was like, uh, guys, are you not going to make it in today? Um, and it was an automated phone system, and I haven't had a phone back, phone call back since. I've also booked off tomorrow as well for the same reason, as since it's contagious around my entire flat, I don't think it's best that I go back to work, even if I'm feeling relatively okay. I'm feeling relatively okay now. I just feel like my head, if I, if I listen to like loud music or something, I have to like take a headache tablet, and it's like, oh, man. So... That's been that. What else have I been doing then today, apart from like feeling sorry for myself because I was ill yesterday? Basically, I have sat here all night and I have coded, all afternoon even, and I have coded. And I have coded a lot. Look at this. That's all it gets, that's all of it, lol. But do you remember how I was annoyed? Hiccup, of all of the times I was programming, all it was was just text on the screen. I'm not sure if I showed you that, but um, Hiccup, for God's sake, um, everything that I've programmed up until this point here, has basically been, I don't want to do that, I just want to run it. Run, 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 run. All of this here, look, has been, um, it's just text, you type in a number, then it generates something, and then you type in like a confirmation, and then it just generates stuff, and it generates blah, 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 and it's boring. And that's the thing I don't like about like Python and stuff, is that it's mainly this. That's everything we've programmed up until this point has been that. And it's been terribly boring, right? But now we're doing our coursework, and we've got a program, a hey, Game of Mastermind. It's going to be Partay, um, and basically this is what I've programmed so far. You've got to there's like a couple of criteria, and then you've got to have a running game, and then the extra credit, fifteen is seventy percent for a running perfect game. Um, 
15% is for a computer AI, when the computer plays against itself and then educate, edu makes educated guesses as to what the code is and tries to figure out what the code is. Um, and then the other 15% is for a GUI, which is a uh, graphical user interface. And look, look, look what I've done, look how boss this is, look, and then, then, it, bah, and then it brings up this here, yes. Bah, bah, oh, it's so good, so good. Click yes, fuck yeah. That's how much I've done today, but none of that has been taught to me. I've literally, and this isn't even a shadow of a joker at all, I've literally started at the top here, started at the top, wrote a little bit, like I knew of the existence of like this thing that you've got to import, and then I just guessed I was going through, and I looked a bit at like the basic like keywords and stuff, and then you just loop them together, you're like, okay, to have this, does that work? Load it, generate, oh, uh, no, it doesn't, blah, blah, blah. Error, 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 error. Okay, fix that, blah, 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 blah. It's just trial and error, trial and error, trial and error until it works. And then when it worked, I just had a party. And I was just, oh man, I've celebrated. And I've, I'm well proud of myself. And that's that's the good thing about this. Now I've done this. This is the first thing I program. I've actually sat back and like, I need to celebrate the fact that I just freaking did that. That was pro. So now, uh, I've finished doing that. And I kind of played Minecraft for a little bit. We set up a new Minecraft server, which unfortunately means we've got to dig out a mountain again. Ah, oh, but it's good fun. And Minecraft's so addictive. We've got to stop doing that Minecraft. Watched uh, Darren Brown's The Apocalypse. And just to provide though, Darren Brown, if you're ever considering uh, doing any of this stuff to me, um, I will personally break your nose at the big reveal. If you go to the big reveal, like, ha, ah, lol, JK, the world isn't ending. I wouldn't be all laughy, just bang, just just beat you to the, break your nose, sit you on the floor, beat you to death, just instantly. I wouldn't be like, oh god, yeah, it was a joke, bloody hell, I fell for that bugger. No, it's not funny, but it's brilliant TV, that is incredible. I love that, like, psychology, blah, 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 blah. I had myself some dindins, and my dindins were relatively nice. I had chicken and chips and thingy, I had to eat it slowly because it was starting to make me feel old towards the end, but I ate it slowly and I ate it all up and it's still in there, so that's good. Um, I think I am relatively fine now. I still don't think I can handle tea, but yeah, I think I'm relatively fine and I'm better now, which is good. Uh, I'm still not going to work tomorrow because it's a stomach virus. I might still have it, you know what I mean? I might still like have it like in my throat and stuff. So if I don't breathe on a tomato and then someone eats the tomato, it's not good for the company. Um, so yeah, that's been my day. Really? 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 What time is it? It's half eight. Bloody hell, it's been a long day. I've relatively I haven't got much to do. This has taken so long to program. It's horrendous. It literally took me about six hours to get the program running this far, just to get forms and things. Things that on VB are just there. Ah, <sighs> effort. Effort. Why use? Why would you ever use Python instead of something else? Oh, well this more, this afternoon has been a very productive one, and it has been. I've done a lot of programming. I'm very proud of the amount of programming I've done. I've actually sat back and I'm like, you've achieved a lot today. I'm still, I could have done more. I've slacked off towards the end of the evening, but um, I've had fun towards the end of the evening as well. It's not really a valid argument, but um, uh, Beth, uh, not Beth, Pajama Girl. Pajama Girl is the same person, lol. Um, Pajama Girl's sister and family have been here during the day. Um, and her sister's staying over tonight. And she's like running around wanting to be entertained and stuff. And she came in here to play Minecraft and then she realised that iPad Minecraft is a lot easier to play than computer Minecraft. Um, but there was just this weird situation where Pajama Girl and Pajama Girl's little sister was sat on my bed Pajama girl's little sister being in pajamas. Like, like sister, like, like sister, like sister. Yeah. Just like running the family or something. Anyway, I've been programming a bit more and I've now got it so that it's ready to start saving the progress of the game. As it's going through, it's getting to the point where it's now saving all of the things you're entering in into like a text file on the hard drive. Um, which means that when you reload the game, it will remember all of the settings that you last saved. So if you quit the game halfway through, it will remember it and reload the game from that exact moment in time. I'm now to the point here, here, where I need to start generating things that are actually to do with the game as opposed to user inputs. Um, 
The way this is split, I'm not sure I've told you this. The way this is split is 70% of the marks goes towards the game and like the code and how robust it is, blah 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 blah, blah and a bit of documentation. Blah 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 blah. blah. And then the extra 30%, that gets you 70% of the mark, which is an A. I think it's an M. Well, whatever, I don't understand how university gradings work, but it's pretty freaking good. Um, the other 30% is for extra credit stuff. So 15% of that is for AI, so that the com when the computer plays against the computer, then there is a level of intelligence involved there. Um, the second part, 15%, is for a GUI for the graphical user interface. And that's what I've built. I've built it from the ground up to be, graphic gra be a graphical user. The bad, bad, bad. I've built it from the ground up to be a graphical user interface which is good, which means it's not flawed in any way, shape or form. It's not like I've tried to bolt on a graphical user interface later. It's genetically modified to be as good as a GUI as I could possibly imagine it to be, even though I've no idea. There's probably a lot more efficient ways. The way I'm looking at it now, it's not perfect, but I'm not being marked for perfect. Um, but yeah, I'm slowly building it up. And I've got to the point now where you've entered in the game mode, entered in the... Uh, number of number the length of the code to start with and that will then generate how many guesses you're allowed and then that it you're also allowed to know how many what the hell am I talking about god damn and then it also has the colors of the game the number of different colors there are in the game from default um, they are being saved into the game as well I've now got to randomly generate the code the computer's got to randomly generate the code, it's then got to save that, it's got to save the, the, the colours, specifically designed colours, um, it's got to save the code, it's then got to generate the board. Generating the board, the game board, is going to be the hardest bit of this so far, until I hit AI anyway, um, and I've just got to figure out a way of making the board look a bit like this, but obviously with like boxes going through with what I know now. I know how to like generate labels and generate blah 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 and change the colours of things. It's just setting it up and laying it all out. At the moment it's just kind of like it's not laid out very well. So it's gonna be quite a it's gonna be a parte, so to speak, trying to figure out how to get that to work properly. But it's I've, I should theoretically know all of it. I don't have to learn new code to do it. I just need to write the new code intelligently, which is good. Um I'm just trying to get into it. I've I've, I've fallen out I was in, I was like poof, I was in the freaking zone earlier. I'm not in the zone anymore. I've left the goddamn zone. <sighs> it's so weird not being at work as well. It's weird thinking that I should be ill, but I'm not. Well, I am. I still can't think. I I still don't think I could eat a lot of things. Like I'm still drinking only water and orange juice in the morning. Mm. Delicious, delicious water. Else, I think I'm closing in on the laptop thing that I want to buy. I think I'm closing in on on either the Chromebook or if the budget will allow it to go up to this this Dell that I've found. I like Dell. Atlas is a Dell. You can't really go wrong with Dells. But I found it, and for four hundred pounds, and it's not even on offer. Four hundred pounds, you get four gigs of RAM, which that has. Um, it's got what's the important stuff? It's got a uh, a battery in it that theoretically lasts six and a half hours, but you never believe that. 500 gig hard drive, HD monitor, 15 inch, and a what the processor? The processor was a third gen i3 at 2.4 gigahertz, which isn't bad. That's two gigahertz and a and a Pentium processor. So that's a that is an increase. That's a that's a positive increase. It's either that or a Chromebook. And the Chromebook is half the price, that's why. There's there's the throw up between them. Hmm. Don't know. Shiz, I didn't end yesterday's video. Catch you later.